There are three specific ways that I think would be helpful. Number one is to keep your team focused on results, milestones. This is sort of a statement you may or may not agree with me on it immediately, but nothing motivates like results. Goals don't motivate like results. They really don't. Because you can set all kinds of goals and get excited, but, but a lot of times you set goals and don't reach them. You can, you can uh, do all kinds of things to try to excite and motivate people, but nothing motivates like actually going back and saying, look what we actually did. And when you actually did it, it gives you confidence to do it again. So nothing motivates like results. So in keeping your team emotionally healthy, one of the best things to do is to keep track of the results that you've seen, the milestones you've actually accomplished. Number two is to keep them focused on strength. Keep them focused on the strength they have and developing strength in all their team, all the people reporting to them, all the people you're relating to. Peter Drucker said the role of an organization is to maximize the strength of the individual and make their weakness irrelevant. That philosophy is a good philosophy. Instead of trying to figure out where are you weak, that, that person has a weakness, that they're weak in this area, and we've got to fix that. No, 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 that's not the right focus. The focus is, where is this person really strong, and how can I maximize that particular strength? When you, when you focus on strength, the whole team gets emotionally up, emotionally healthier. It's just a good way to do it. And then positive priorities. When you're thinking about what are the measurable things we want to get done in the next 30, 60, 90 days, that turns the whole team up positive, uh, emotionally healthy focus, rather than what's gone wrong, nothing is going right, that kind of an attitude. And uh, when you're thinking of positive priorities for the future, by the way, those can be goals to reach or things we're going to add, like we're going to buy another 40 acres or we're going to add a new system or we're going to add new staff. There's a goal is something you're going to add. That can be a measurable priority. And you could, or you could have a problem to solve. And that is, here's a problem we need to fix. It's a problem to solve in the next 30, 60, 90 days. It's measurable. It is a priority, but it's a problem, not a goal. And the third is an opportunity where you can say, we need to grab this while it's here. And so it's measurable. Uh, and so all three, goals, problems, and opportunity, can be measurable. They are priorities, but they're very different. They're apples, oranges, and bananas. Goal is to, re uh, to add problem is to fix, and, and opportunities to grab. So, in keeping your team emotionally healthy, the first thing is to focus on results, what we've done right in the past. The second is focus on our strength. What, what is our strength and how do we maximize it? And the third is on positive priorities, goals, problems, or opportunities in the next 30, 60, 90 days. Once you get that positive focus, uh, your team stays pretty emotionally balanced, emotionally up, uh, ready, to, ready to take the next steps.